Hello and welcome to Factory Town Idol. Factory Town Idol is an incremental style town builder. We're going to build houses and production buildings, assign workers to craft items, and sell our finished goods to earn coins and keep our townspeople happy. And then we'll invest everything back into endless research and upgrades. So Factory Town Idol comes to us from the developer and self-publisher of Factory Town, Eric Esmussen, and... Uh, it is based on that uh, Factory Town, the, the original Factory Town game, but it's been transferred into a um, into an idle style game that is um, that has all of the aspects of an idle game that that folks love, but is also still very interesting and and uh, fun to play uh, for PC for regular for, I don't know regular PC gamers I guess. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and take a look at it. By the way, uh, it released today as I'm recording this, uh, probably uh, yesterday as you're seeing this, uh, April 20th. And um, uh, it is on sale on Steam. And if you purchase the bundle, if you already own Factory Town and you purchase the bundle, then you get an extra, um, an extra discount on the game. Uh, since you already own Factory Town, it counts as part of the bundle. So let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at the game, see how it plays. Uh, we'll do a, this will be a little bit of a shorter episode, I think, than my normal. But we'll see how it plays, and we will um, uh, talk about talk about the game. So play, and we'll set up a new town here. Of course, we're going to call it Wally Town. Great. So here on the uh, main screen, we have. Um, Various information. Here's our town level that we uh, increase by XP, just like in Factory Town. We have 25 squares of land. I don't know. Leveling up the town gives us more land. Here we have workers. Uh, we build houses, houses to gain workers. We have an inventory here of 500 trees. Um, we gain 3.13 uh, 3 trees per second. And then we also have an inventory of wood that is zero right now, but we'll gain some of that. Uh, uh, clickables. So these are the things you manually click on to harvest. And we're going to do that in a minute. Uh, and then we have uh, level up uh, tracking here. Over here on the side are the quests. And this will kind of guide you through how the game the game works and the game expands. We didn't look at the options, but the options are uh, in the menu, but the options are very brief. You can see that here. Um, I've turned the sound effects down a little bit. I hope they were loud enough. Uh, and there is no music, which I was a little bit surprised with, too. Given the music that Factory Town has, I was kind of expecting this game to have music as well. So our first task here, which is also shown up here, is to harvest 10 wood. And we need to do that by using the clickables. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That um, gives us... 10 wood crops in our inventory now, of course, and uh, it didn't change this, so I don't know what that means relative to this, but that's fine. Um, and we can claim that uh, qu quest now, which gives us a new menu of buildings and a new quest coin. There we are. And so our next quest is to build three houses. Uh, the quest coins appear up here, and we have to have 10 of them to get to whatever the next thing is. Let's go to the buildings menu here, and we can build a house, which costs four wood. Um, it takes them a few seconds to build it, just like a regular, just like an idle game would. And uh, we have, we can spend, oh, one land and five wood to build more houses. So we need to build three for this quest, so we'll just kind of do one more, but we can't because it costs more wood per house. We actually need six wood. Uh, we have one, so uh, one, two, three, four, five to get us to six, and then we can build that house as well. And that's, that's an interesting thing also of a lot of um, um, uh, idle games is that uh, the more you build of something, the more and more it costs to build the thing. So now we have three houses and a quest coin, and uh, that gives us the new menu of of the harvesting menu and the quest coin that is um so now we need to expand to five houses but we also can assign workers to harvest and i believe that's what starts harvesting these trees uh so let's do um three workers because that's all we have two harvesting trees and you can see here that the tree count has has diminished slightly um and we are gaining trees at 
Um, oh, I see how it works. Okay. Uh, we are gaining trees at a diminished rate now because we are spending some of that gain. So we're still, we're still doing good on trees, but if we, if we try to chop more than we're growing, we're regenerating, then the tree count will diminish. So now that we're gathering wood automatically from the trees, we don't need to do this anymore, but we still can. Uh, instead, we can just come over here and build our, our additional two houses that are, of course, costing more and more wood each time. There we go. That gives us the five we need for the quest. And then we can assign those two additional people to this uh, to this task as well. And you can see our, our crops are going up here. And we can claim uh, the building of Lumber Mill and the item, the item coin with that quest. And, or sorry, and a, and a quest coin. Um, and then we get a recipe for planks. So our next task is to build one lumber mill. That's back here at the buildings. Um, there's the quest indicator right there. So let's build one lumber mill. It costs us 20 wood to build a lumber mill. And you can see, by the way, the, the wood getting delivered to the lumber mill. And that gives us another menu, another crafting menu. Uh, and then the quest coin. And in the crafting menu, we, we need to assign what those buildings are going to craft. So we have um, two wood become one plank at this building. That's the skill currently for the building, and we need to assign a building to do the work. And so that's going to be uh, the lumber mill here. Uh, so we need to produce 40 planks. We need to have three lumber mills. And we also need to reach town level one, which is this here, which is done by gaining this experience, these experience points. So let's uh, build more lumber mills. Build, please. That's number two. And there's number three. And then we can do this. And that. Now what's interesting is there's three workers assigned here. It says... Uh, right here, workers times three. But I don't know where those workers came from because they didn't come from the houses. So I don't know if those are automatic workers that you get a worker every time you build a, a lumber mill in this case that doesn't really count from the housing or how that works. Um... So maybe we'll learn as we go. But you can see we're getting to our 40 planks. That unlock the general store. Let's go ahead and claim that. And of course, another quest coin. That brings us back to buildings. And the general store is here. Um, we can cost 10 planks and a piece of land. Let's build one. And then we can claim this. And that unlocks the markets. So now we need to produce 1,000 yellow coins. Now, if you remember how it worked in Factory Town, you sell different types of goods at these different types of markets, in this case, a general store, and you can uh, earn coins from that. Now, one thing that I don't really understand is why there are two here. Does a... Does the general store have just by default to some kind of slot or how does that work? But we did get uh, town level one, by the way, let's take turn that in. Now, of course you need to get to town level two. Um, I, so I'm not sure how that actually is working, like where that extra slot comes from. Cause we definitely only have one general store. So I'm not sure. And we could sell wood here also. Or maybe you do get two. Maybe you can sell two things. Whether that's two. Like double the plank order. And then maybe you could also do one wood order. Or just selling all planks. And since the planks give us three coins. And two experience points. Whereas the wood only gives us one coin. And one experience point. Per each. Um, while the two, two wood become one plank. It stands to reason that the selling the planks is better than selling the wood. So we're going to sell the planks in terms of income and experience. Are we stable? We're losing planks very, very slowly. So we're selling them slightly faster than we are making them. 
But now we're not. Now we're making more? What changed? Maybe, oh, this level went up. That's what changed. Um, we're still doing good on, on wood, too. Um, we have more trees because we gained more land. Because um, we leveled up. I don't know. I didn't see how much land we gained. I guess I should have paid better attention. But we gained some amount of land. Um, and we ended up gaining 125 trees as part of that. Let's see what happens when we get to level two. I suppose at this point, we could double everything. We could sell twice as many planks, although I don't know that. Well, actually, I wonder. What if we built another house? What happens? Let's see what happens. So that means now that we want that worker to go and harvest trees, I think. Which boosts our tree production. Does, what does that do to this? Anything? We're not, they're not requesting any more goods, which is interesting to me. Is the average fulfillment because we're not selling planks? Or wood, rather? I guess that could be. It's an interesting way to display that, though. So I guess in that case, maybe we need another general store. Which means we need to have more workers. Uh, so we need more houses. But we also just got to level two. So let's turn that in. That gives us rock as a natural resource. And maybe the game will want us to start mining uh rock stone instead yes it does so we need more workers for that so let's build a few houses can you queue these up yeah you can there we go five five houses in the queue and let's start gathering rock as we get those workers in rock on planks are plummeting but that's because we're building no that's because we're trying to sell to more people now yeah that did drop okay and we can sell stone now too Interesting. Okay, so maybe I do want another general store. Which means I'm also going to want more lumber mills. And that means I'm going to want another house. Have another... Tree Harvester to bring this positive. Uh, we're oversubscribed on our rock right now, which makes some sense, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have done five harvesting rock. We can do our own harvesting too. Ah, good. Harvest the stone. We get a stockpile building now. We also need to build a few more houses. This will be done in just a moment. There we go. Perks menu. Ah, here we are. And we get a reward as well. Perks menu. Uh, idle gain. Earn up to zero hours of idle progress when the game is closed. Uh, we can upgrade that. Click power. Town XP boost. More starting land. Workers per house. Construction efficiency. Skill gain speed. Natural resource regeneration. Natural resource capacity. Well, I feel like the thing we could use now is potentially more workers per house. So we'll get 1.2 workers per house now. And then here, two quest coins. Nice. So that's one of those, another thing where if you hang around long enough, you'll get some additional stuff. Uh, back to here, buildings. We now have a stockpile. What does that give us? 
Provides more storage for materials. Sure, we'll build one of those. Do we want... Let's see, I think we need to have... We need to build those other three houses. One, two, three. It's gonna chew through my planks. So we could probably use another lumber mill. Two more quest coins and some more land. We have free workers, of course. I wanted to do this. And then I want to do that. Wait, did I build an extra lumber mill for no reason? Now we are oversubscribed on our trees. So we should take our next perk as that, perhaps. Um, that is uh, natural resource regeneration. Let's do that. We got our houses done. We get to school now. Now we need to build the school. What's that? Grain. Uh, I just want to kind of make sure we're doing good here. Yeah, it's just that right now that's the issue. But we'll we'll recover that, I think, in time. Let's build a school. We could probably use another market, or general store, rather, at some point, also. So the school now, we get the research menu. That's what's done at the school. So we can research a workshop, quarry, or water bucket. Um... Quarry gets us storage for rock and regen for rock. Okay. Workshop gets us the ability to make all these other things. I think we could go for the workshop. So dedicate that. That's going to cost us more planks. Uh, it'll take us a little bit of time. And I think we can do another general store. Here. We might need more lumber mills, which then means we might need more... Uh, I think we're okay. Let's do this and that. We're still good on everything, so that's not, that's not bad. Keeping everybody here in the green is, is a good idea. Um, if, at that point, we would need more general stores to get past that to keep them in the green. But for now, we're good here. Um, and then we're just dumping resources into research. Uh, this, In this case, planks into research. Since these are all positive, yes, these are negative. But since these are all positive, we're pretty good. We're in a pretty good spot. Uh, we could take something else here. But I, th I think the next thing I'd want is more natural resource regen for the uh for the trees although research efficiency could be good as well yeah why don't we do that one to make research use 10 percent less resources that seems reasonable to me build a workshop build a hardware store and produce red coins so that'll come with the uh finishing of this research here which is coming along quickly Okay. Refined plank, hardware store, workshop, wood wheel, and shovel. Uh, the next thing that I want to research, maybe the quarry. Sure. Uh, so we can go over here to workshop, or build a workshop now. Build one of those, please. And then build a hardware store we don't have yet. But we can start crafting... Do we not have a hardware store? I guess not. We can start crafting now uh, wood wheels and or shovels. Um, I don't know which one we want first. Let's just craft some wood wheels for a while. So when do we get the hardware store? Is that here? Oh, it's here. Ooh. Okay, after quarry we'll do the hardware store then. Can I queue that up now? No, okay. Or we could add, we could build another school, of course, but no. 
Yeah, I'm going to get worried about the trees pretty soon. That is... That's a potential concern. We might have to cut down on the amount of... Um, of planks we're making and or the amount of wood and planks we're selling at the general store. Okay, com quarry is complete. That gives us masonry research available, quarry building available, and rock prospecting. Let's go ahead and do the hardware store. Huh? Oh, it's already going, yeah. Uh, that got us to level four or two, by the way, so now we have an extra resource of grain, two more quest coins, and a food mill unlocked. So now we can harvest more grain, which means we need more houses, Quarry does that storage and regen for stone. Not that we necessarily need it. Rock, rather. Uh, but we do need a couple more houses, at least, to harvest the grain. Do two. Oh, I have extra people. How do I have extra people? I build oh because of the 1.2 thing yeah okay um research in the hardware store oh we need we need shovels for that too I didn't notice that um let's build another lumber mill then no uh workshop then and then we can craft shovels there oopsie although maybe I should um Put two of them on shovels for a while just to kind of equalize uh, the amount of items we have of each because we are way ahead on on the wooden wheels we're not way ahead but somewhat ahead oh uh 50 grain now we have the food market that's here let's build one of those and that gets me the ability to sell this stuff here. Great. Kind of watching these so they equalize a bit. We're still not producing enough of either to support the uh, the research, but the research is only temporary, so I think that's okay. Yeah, it's paused again till that's done. Um, so, but I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna end here and. Uh, let me know what you think. If you want me to continue doing these, uh, they'll be shorter than the other videos, I think. Um, and we'll just kind of feature them here on the channel every so often. But if you want to continue, or want me to continue doing videos of this, let me know. Uh, otherwise, check out the game on your own. Um, it, there was a demo available on Steam. I don't know if there still is or not. Uh, now that the game is... Oh yeah, it looks like there still is on the Steam page. So give it a try, even if you want. Uh, and uh, pick it up. But if you already own Factory Town, or you're interested in Factory Town, the full Factory Town game, uh, make sure you pick up the bundle, because it'll save you an extra 20%, I believe. Uh, so thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.